10 or 12 years ago we used to grow mung beans occasionally. Most of the time we used to double crop them into a winter cereal, which is what probably most people used to do in the past. And they never used to have much moisture and the price is only sort of six or eight hundred dollars a tonne and as a result of having no moisture they didn't yield very well and the older varieties, well they didn't yield as well either and they shattered and, and got weathered pretty badly so we gave up on them. They were pretty ordinary. So we um, reconsidered mung beans in rotation, probably looking at a neighbour up the road who always used to grow mung beans and uh, you know, through good times and bad. And the price went over $1,000 a tonne one year there and the sorghum price was pretty ordinary. So I thought I'd give them a go and I planted them into a Longfellow paddock where I would normally plant sorghum. And they, they yielded really well considering the season and I made a good return of them. So I, I kept with them. Oh, I think the most important thing to growing a good mung bean crop is to plant them on a full profile of moisture. You know, long fallow, winter mung bean crop, get it nice and moist and, well, mud, you want it mud, and then um, you can't go wrong most years. Oh, I think the narrower, narrower the row spacing, the better, and I think your plant population for mung beans definitely has to be around that 25 to 30 plants per metre. Um, too thin and they just don't yield, there's not enough plants to put the yield on. Um, they just don't compensate like people might expect them to. So definitely row space and a plant population are critical to get a good crop, especially on a, long, on a full profile of moisture. The, the crop that really sold me on mung beans was probably going back four or so years ago. We planted them on a full profile of moisture and from that point on we may have had 20 to 30 millimetres of rain, in crop rain, and it was a particularly hot summer and the crop finished up. It was planted to harvest in something like 63 days and you know they should have been an absolute disaster but they yielded about probably 1.2 tonnes a hectare and the price was 12 or 1300 dollars a tonne and um, that's what really sold me on mung beans that in a, a terrible year like that they could still do as well as they did which is realistically that's a good return for a good sorghum crop <laughs> so so after i stuck with them and you know the seasons haven't been that bad since and we've had yields probably in the range of yeah, 1.5 to 2.5 tonnes a hectare. Um, and they're, that, they're pretty profitable when you can do that, especially with the prices the way they are. Mung beans are our dominant summer crop now, and as long as the price stays up, they'll be our dominant, dominant summer crop for a long time to come. <laughs>